I would say that probably the first real pivotal moment for me as far as songwriting goes is uh, the day that the Miracles and I, we weren't called the Miracles at that time, of course, but we went to audition for Jackie Wilson's managers at which we sang five songs that I had written and Barry Gordy happened to be there that day because he had some new songs for Jackie Wilson and he liked a couple of my songs and uh, he came out after we were rejected by Jackie Wilson's managers and struck up a conversation with me wanting to know where we got the songs so that we sang because we had sang five songs that I had written and um, he started to mentor me that day on my songwriting. Well, my primary instrument, of course, is my voice. Um, that's the one that I count on to, to uh, earn me a living, really. But uh, I do bang on the piano. I've never had any formal piano lessons or anything like that. But basically, when I write, I do write with the piano. Uh, my mom had an old upright piano in our house when I was a kid growing up, and I started banging on it when I was probably about three years old. So uh, I, I don't really play fluently and, and, you know, like I'm not a concert pianist or anything like that, but I do play well enough to uh, write my songs. And so as far as an instrument goes, that's my primary instrument. Well, I would say that uh, probably the first place that inspired my musical career, career was in my house <laughs> because uh, I had a great dose of music growing up. Uh, in, my, in, my, in my house, there was every kind of music being played that you can think of. There was blues, there was gospel, there was jazz, there was classical. I had two older sisters, they played some music also called bebop. And uh, so I had a great dose of music growing up. So I think that growing up in a house like that where I heard all kinds of music had a great influence on my musical um, perspective and on my musical tastes and um, the scope of the music that I enjoy. Well, today for me being a, a, a songwriter, I've, I've, you know, I guess I'll always be a songwriter because I write songs all the time, you know. Um, and, uh, and when I get ready to record, if I'm going to record myself or somebody else, then I'll get into the production part of it. Um, and so my primary job, I think, would be the song, first of all. When I go into the studio, I want to go in with a good song. I want to start with that because I feel like it has a chance to be successful if it's a good song, if it's something that would have meant something to people 50 years ago, mean something to people now or 50 years from now, it has a better chance of being accepted. So I always want to go into the studio with a song. Uh, as far as the production goes, I've worked with a lot of great producers. I've worked with a lot of great writers. I think my, my, my best writing partner ever in my life was a guy named Marvin Tarplin, who was my guitarist for many, 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 many years until he passed away. But uh, I, I just, uh, I go in and I, and, I, and I hope for the best when I go. I think that that's all you can do. You can go in there and many times you can go into the studio and think, oh gosh, this is going to be a big hit. This is a great song, great production of it and so on. And it does nothing. <laughs> and many times you can go in with one that you feel is good and you feel it has potential and all that. And it's, it's, it's a, a tremendous success. So with music, you just never know. But I feel like if I give it my my best advantage going in, then I have a better chance of it becoming successful. Well, uh, now we have out a new album called Gasms. And my goal with that album, my primary goal with that album, is for it to be a hit and for people to, uh, to, to like it and, and want it. Uh, we live in a very strange record world now. You know, when I first started, you know, you sold records and that was basically the, the, the primary uh, way for people to earn royalties and, and, and for their music and what have you now. But, but today, gosh, it's, it's, it's so different because I, we, we just have the new album out, Gasm just came out and already <laughs> we have four singles playing from that album because people are listening to the music online and they're buying it online and people are choosing what they want from that particular album. 
there was a time when you when you had an album, people couldn't just call and say, okay, I want this cut from that album, and now I don't want the rest of it. But nowadays, people just choose whatever cut they want from an album and order it online. And it's a very it's a very strange uh, record situation for me because of how I started. But I, I'm I'm getting used to it. And uh, like I said, you know, I have about four current brand new singles, and that's never happened for me before. Well, my primary process for writing a song is to try to write a good song, to write a meaningful song. So um, I, I don't really have a formula. I'm not one of those writers who has a formula, you know. I come up with the words first or the music first or I go off to the mountains or to the desert or somewhere and isolate myself so that I can write. You know, it doesn't happen for me like that. You know, it, it, some, some words can be said to me in a conversation and it'll trigger something inside me that says, ooh, that would make a good song. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I write when, it, when, when the inspiration hits me and many times the melody comes first and many times the words or a phrase comes first. So there are no form, there is no formula for me as far as the, the process of writing. And uh, I have had some wonderful writing partners uh, throughout my career. I mean, I've written with some wonderful people. I can't even begin to name all of them because it would take up the rest of the time to name them. But I've written with a lot of wonderful people. And uh, uh, so, uh, like I said, my, my primary writing partner was Marvin Tarplin, who was my guitarist, who has passed on now. But I've been with a lot of wonderful people, with Stevie Wonder and Elton John and people like, I mean, you know, I, I don't want to go off into name, <laughs> name all the people uh, because it would <laughs> take too long. And uh, it's been a joy. I enjoy working with creative people. I enjoy, I enjoy that process. You know, I've worked with many, 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 many wonderful producers. You know, I worked with producers where I had nothing to do with the production of the record. Uh, so uh, it, it's been a great experience for me. And, and I watch and I learn. I first started learning from Barry Gordy, who when I met him uh, prior to him starting Motown, was a record producer and a songwriter. And so like they mentored me and I was the first artist at Motown uh, after we started Motown to be able to produce and write my own songs and, and, and produce my own records on myself or other artists for the company. So um, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's the learning process. And I guess you have to learn the pulse or the beat of the era that you're in in order to be successful at it. Because, um, you know, there, and nowadays it's, it's really um, so much more convenient for producers and writers because a lot of people, I would say at least 50 to 60% of people, have their own studios at home because you're recording now on a computer. And most people are doing that, or a lot of people are doing that. So uh, they have a lot of leeway with their creativity and, and what they do, and a lot of time to work on it because they're right at their own home and they can work on it 24-7 if they want to. But uh, it's, it, it's, uh, it's been a great process for me working with all these wonderful people. My primary advice to people who want to get into the music world is I want you to know, first of all, it's hard. It's not an easy job. It looks easy because it's, you know, people singing and dancing or playing or whatever that is. And uh, they are, they're, most of the time they're having a good time and you're witnessing this and, and, and you think, well, okay, I've got this talent. I, I can play this instrument or I can sing or I can dance or I can do that or I can act or do something like that. And so I want to pursue that. If you want to pursue it, be ready to be rejected. Have your mental self ready to be rejected and to get back up and keep on stepping. If you love it, you're going to pursue it with that in mind. No matter how many no's you get, you're going to wait until you get that one yes. And if you have the talent to make it, because see, there are millions, and I do mean millions of people, in your city, wherever you live, trying to get that job because it's so attractive and it's so fulfilling once you get it. So if you get it, then cherish it. Then know that it's something that you should uh, 
feel blessed about having is something that you should always acknowledge your fans and always be good to them because you got to know that those are the people who let you have this career. Other than God, they're the ones who let you have it, who, who make it possible for you to have it. So you got to respect them to the utmost. And um, that would be my advice to you. So if you love it, go for it. But be prepared to get a lot of rejection. And be prepared to get right back up and keep on pursuing if that's what happens to you. Very few people come to the show business overnight. You know, like you hear a, a, a new voice or a new player or something like that. And people say, oh, he's a new artist. There are very, 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 very few new artists. If somebody comes out with a record and they're 15 years old, they've been doing it since they were five. They've been singing or whatever they've been doing since they were five years old. So it wasn't like they came up and they, they turned 15 and said, oh, I think I'll start singing or something and started and didn't make a record. No, it's a process. It's a process that you go through and that you live with and that you pursue from within yourself. So um, if you got all that working, go for it. I am very happy to be working with the Primary Wave team. Uh, it's like family. You know, they've always treated me like family and uh, I, can, I can call on anyone there and get results. And, uh, it, it, you know, Larry is, is just a wonderful man. I, I love Larry. I consider him to be my friend and my brother. So, uh, you, you know, um, Primary Wave is just a great place for me to be as a songwriter and an artist.